Everybody, there's a few things I like in this world. Two of them, vintage hunting and vintage fishing stuff. And there's a lot of it out here. Different varieties. Fishing stuff, for example. Plenty of lures. There's stuff that dates back from the 1800s. Hunting stuff dates back to however long it goes. And this channel is dedicated to this kind of stuff. You're about to go through the same journey that me and my brother have gone through over the years ever since we've been alive. About us collecting and showing off some of this stuff and things that we find out here in the world. It could be yard sailing, teak stores, anywhere. Old houses. Doesn't really matter. This channel is dedicated to it. This video is going to be not just not hunting and fishing. It's going to be fishing. Next video can be hunting. We're going to, today I'm going to show off some of the stuff that we picked up or found over the years or stuff we just been had. But there's, there's a lot of lore, so there's a lot of fishing stuff. So it's not like it's going to go anywhere. But there's a lot. There's a lot of everything. Before I get into the video and showing off some of the stuff, just to kick off this brand new video, I have something I just found out in the shed. It's an old 1973 pen instruction manual. And it, it, repair and parts list. It's from 1973, and it's got every rod from that generate from that time. The pin spin fisher. This is one of the bass ones. It's very good. I don't think I've never seen this one before. It's very interesting. I, I'm not that good at this. some of this history stuff, but we'll see. There's a lot in here. Got some more. Pin light tackle spinning reels. Very, very good stuff. Some of these I've never seen in my life. Mostly pin are re good at making their drift rods or whatever. And reels. Not really rods. They're mostly reels. Here's some more. It's a big rockfish. There's a lot in this book. I've not been through this book. Oh, here we go. This is this is the the drift rods a little bit. I have two. They're from my grandfather's. He he did a lot of Drifting and drift fishing and uh, rock fish, rock fishing. He has a lot of drift rods and big giant ones. This is some of them. I don't really want to take a look at it. I'm not really into this stuff, but I guess I would show y'all some of the history of this. Super cool stuff. Super cool. more I have we have this one too down a rod outside but maybe later in the video I might show you it but yeah there's a lot this is I had to take a little quick break so I can grab this this is the one I'm talking about it's not as old as this I really don't think so it's a pin rod. It's very dirty. I've not cleaned it. Talk about one of the rods. You still hear that sound. This poor thing has seen a lot. There's what it catches. It still winds really good. So that's good. I don't think this one's in here. Because the handles are different. It's very dirty though. I have the packaging for it. I'm not going to worry about that. There's a lot more in this book. I'm going to be a little bit more faster with this.
not more faster. Oh, this. Bringing back some of the history of pin. You know, I think they date back a little bit longer than that. Here's the parts. There's a couple of those. You can find those a lot. These ones are those or whatever. There's a lot. There's the parts to repair. The handles and everything. This is just the numbers. Yeah. And you got, I guess, how to fix it, I guess. And that's the end. Joy fishing with your family. Good stuff there. Love that old art. And this book is all 50s, but... Yeah. There's a lot. A lot of good old fishing stuff out there. But today, let's get to the, the good part. The part some of y'all may have been waiting for. We'll talk about some stuff. The final one, we'll get to last. First one we'll talk about. This one. This rod right here. I'm on the spinner bait. This is a vintage Eagle Claw. I think 10 pound test spinning rod. I mean reel. Picked this one up at a yard sale. Still in a package. People had a bunch of them. We just wanted this one to fit for this one. This is an original Abu Garcia. Oh, you slow backwards. Spinning rod or spinning reels. The Max R, I think. Clean, very clean. It's a smaller rod. Back then, the rods were smaller. The cast, it winds good. It's like brand new. The condition is very nice on the rod and reel. We've had this Abu Garcia rod for like a long time. So, seen a lot of things. Yeah, nothing really much special about this one. Just an eagle claw. Spinning rod, reel. Keep on getting those two mixed up all the time. But yeah, that's that. The next one I'm going to get into is a very one I picked up from the same yard sale. Really do like this rod. It's a really good one. Some of y'all might know what it is. This is a... Oh, hooked on the other one. This is a Daiwa Apollo. Condition... Eh, it's nice. The condition it was when we got it. See the original sticker was. I have a cicada lure on here. Because I was used, trying it out on this thing. Top water cicada. You probably pick it up at your Bass Pro Shop near you. Or any other fishing store. They have them. Don't know if they still sell them. This rod. It's clean. It's no bro not broken. It's very clean, got cracks. Usually the old ones like to crack a lot. Very good rod. People like the Daiwa's. Daiwa's good. The reels are kind of good. They're not my favorite, but they're decent. Then we got, I think this is the Bass Pro Shop. It's in bad condition. We got this from somebody. The Bass Pro Shot Reel from the 90s. Condition-wise, meh. Sucks the paint's gone, but it works perfect. One problem about this rock reel is that it likes the bird nest. The string likes to go everywhere. The button is good. It's good for flipping. Not really, because it likes to tangle up a lot. Action with this rod and reel, very good. The rod's very stiff. The reel works perfectly with this rod. It's missing the little emblem. 
little dusty. Took this one out to uh, uh, Clarksville to that lake out in Virginia. Not a big fan of the lake, but it works out. For this rod and reel, I used an original Bill Dance Eel Lord to test it out. Eh, didn't catch anything, but overall, it's good. It's good to use still. Long as this reel is very good to use, unless it's clean and still works good. It can look any way it looks outside, long as if it works. One last look at this. Very good. One of my favorites. Next, the final one I'm going to get into. But before I get into this one, I like to say, if you haven't subscribed yet, do it if you want. Ain't bothering me. But if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. And there's one more thing I'd like to add. This channel came from Shed Hunting and Ball Digging Adventures. You can probably look them up. It's our original channel. We haven't posted anything in like a year or like a very long time. Haven't really been gotten into that much. It's been hard. We shed hunt on there. It's been hard. Got one hunting video, but I'm afraid to post it because of YouTube. You know, they don't like it. But we moved to this one. I thought we have all this fishing stuff, vintage fishing stuff and hunting stuff. Why can't we go on YouTube and show a bunch of this stuff off? And that will be awesome. It might be better. We'll still be trying to post on that channel. But you gotta try to check it out. If you can. But alright. It's, it's been a long time. For the final and grand finale of this first video... I want to show you all the final one. One of the best ones we have so far. This one in the back. You may have seen it in the back while the video was going. Y'all may be thinking, oh, just a vintage reel with the vintage rod with it. It's nothing special. And with the original Rebel crankbait, the miniature one, it's not that big. You see it compared to my finger. But it's not what you think it is. This is an original, I think, 1987, around there, Shimano Bass Pro Shop Rod Combo. We picked this up from a, hut, from a hunting store. Still waiting to go back there. They got, we'll go back, we'll go back there eventually. I'll try to show you all the pickup from there. But this... Thing. This reel and rod is perfect. It's an original Shimano. But there's something interesting about this one. It's got the loose handles. Usually don't see many rod, rods or reels that have them. Because like... That's the one thing that's kind of mind-boggling. I don't know why they did that. But the action... Works really good. The button, eh, works good. It's just the thing with these little buttons. Got the logo, right, the logo right there. This Bass Pro Shop rod is the original combo with it. Still got the little emblem. Little emblem. It's got the little silver around there. See, someone before was trying to pry this thing open, and. Mess that up. And there was something interesting. It says micro light right here. And it resembles like resembles like the Miller Light, I think, logo. I don't know why they did that. If anybody in the comments can tell me, I'll really be helpful because I don't know why. Things are getting on tight. It's got the original sticker. Pro Guard finish. So not it's not big. It's really not big. It's really not big. 
Eh, it's a decent size. Usually these vintage rods not really that are not really that big, but it's enough. I think this uh rod was really meant for kids a little bit. For younger people. Because if you go back to the Daiwa one that I was showing y'all, it's a little bit longer, thicker, it looks more stiffer than the other ones, very tough. This one's more like, eh, just like a kid's combo rod or something. But, who knows. This is one of the best ones we have so far. Hoping soon, I have a good pickup to show y'all. Made by Shimano. Really awesome. Have it for a rod, for a Zepco rod. Vintage. Show that in a video when I get it. But, yeah, that's the end of the video. Very expensive rod, and real. Super cool. Now, we've made it to the end of the video. But, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. And a thumbs up if you want. It ain't bothering me. But if you like, if you want to see more reviews of more vintage fishing and hunting stuff, Come back again. But at the end, see you in the next one.